Uh, let's create a virtual machine using VMware Workstation. First, you need to open the software VMware Workstation and click on the file and create, click on the new virtual machine and select the typical option it is recommended also uh, click on the next uh, click on the i will install the operating system later option and click on the next uh, so i'm going to create a guest virtual machine as a linux which is sent OS. so i'm going to select it and click on the next and so if you want to edit your virtual machine name you can edit from here so i'm going to give it sent OS and click on the next and the uh, disk size is automatically given a minimum of 20 gb uh, it is enough and there are two options here store virtual disk as a single file or split virtual disk into multiple files so i'm going to click on the store virtual disk as a single file because splitting disk into multiple files might slow your virtual machine click on the next so click on the finish here is your new virtual machine is ready so i'm going to start operating system in this new virtual machine so first i'm going to click on the edit virtual machine setting and i'm going to increase the ram which uh, tentatively 4 gb and i'm going to now give number of the processor always one and the core will be four uh, i'm going to select it four core and the hard disk is 20 gb it is okay and now the operating system i'm going to use an iso image file which is already i had downloaded and you can see it in my uh, desktop uh, the CentOS uh, stream 9 latest so I'm going to show you minimize so I'm, I had already in, uh, downloaded it so I see image file and I'm going to keep just a location and desktop uh, CentOS stream 9 let, latest okay I'm going to click on the open and click on the save so what you need to do uh, is start up this guest operating system click on it and i'm going to make it and just i'm going to select on the option in installs into a stream line and click the enter so my installation process is begin shortly so it will take some time so I'm going to select the language English uh, you can select whatever language you are comfortable with and click on the continue and the installation source is my local media you don't need to do anything about here just click on the installation destination uh, if you just just click and just click on the done uh, it will automatically partitioning the selected it will automatically select the part partitioning and then just scroll down and select the root password and do not lock the root account and allow root SSS login with the password so keep the root password keep the root password so click on the down and click on the begin installation so installation process is begun and it will take some time to install
after the installation progress completed now users need to click on the reboot system and their system will be rebooted it will take a few seconds Now your system is ready and you need to configure some start setup. Uh, welcome to CentOS Stream 9. The operating system is installed and the virtual machine is created. Now let's start setup. And the privacy location service if you want to allow it just allow it. If you don't want to allow it just don't allow it that's your choice click on the next and if you want to connect your google next cloud or microsoft account you need you can click it click it but if you don't want just skip it and give your full name i'm going to give it a, as a developer. and username will be the developer and click on the next i don't click on the enterprises login just click on the next and the set password for your user account and i'm going to set a password and click on the next and you can use start send to a stream nine your virtual machine is ready Just if you want to take a tool, just take a tool, and if you don't want to, to take a tool, just you know, click on the no thanks. Uh, here is your new virtual machine, it's ready. Just click on the activities. Here you can see the terminal where you will execute the commands. Just 